hi guys up uh, welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to be looking at subscribe to this youtube channel make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel click on the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload any new video guys keep to without further ado let us jump straightly into the tutorial and this is your boy dennis the tito shredev welcome to today's tutorial we are going to be looking at looking through a file in a windows cnd command that is the command line the command prompt we are going to be looking through a file how you can look through a file in the command line oh uh, to do now without much talking let us get to it quickly okay firstly what you're going to do is that you're going to access the command line you're going to access the command line quickly this is it okay if you don't know how to access the command line check the video i have a video on how to access the command line okay here we are into this what we're going to do is that we are going to access this identical file here called school this identical folder rather this identical folder called school we are going to be accessing the identical folder here called school and we are going to be looking at every directory that is in this folder school every directory that is in it we are going to be looking at them everything that exists in school and in school we have another file in school called adobe we are going to be looking at this folder here called school and another folder that exists in school that is called adobe we are going to be looking at that folder what are those things that are in that folder that is called adobe we are going to be looking at it so without further ado let's get to this quickly firstly what we're going to do is that school is on desktop so we are going to enter to the desktop we are going to enter the desktop We're going to enter the desktop good we are in the desktop currently as you can see here if you don't know how this is actually going through i have a whole tutorial on understanding the command lines that is the cnd command understanding it okay if you don't understand how this is actually going why the cd is for you can check in understanding the command line on with some common commands i have a video on that you can check it out so now as we enter the desktop we're going to check for school very good and enter we are into school now we are into the school folder we are into the identical folder here so in school we're going to search for a folder they call adobe very good we are into the adobe folder now here is it okay good the case doesn't matter once to it all matter is that the spelling should be correct there the cases is not really matters what really matters is that the spelling should be correct whether it is uppercase or lowercase trust me you just have to keep your spelling correct okay so now we want to know the amount of things that is actually in this identical area here we want to see everything like we said going to a folder this is it so we're going to go good yeah this is what that we have here oh uh, what we have here we have 21 files in this and we are going to directories so we have all of the free spaces of it here in it this is it two directory we're gone and here we have okay tutorial these are all tutorial these are all tutorial 3d these are all these are all mp4 the cc mp4 cc mp4 mp4 so definitely in this adobe file we have a lot of videos so everything in here is yeah everything in here are all videos actually because this is mp4 this is mp4 and also you can also know the time that is the time that this video got into the computer you can also be acquainted with it the video got into the computer and you can also know the current date 
on this identical directory okay. so now this folder here you have this one on the 28th the, the 23rd the sixth month that the video got into the computer and here the fifth month the fifth the eighth month that the video got into the computer so more recent or items will take the highest we have two directories that we went through the desktop school and adobe but there's actually two directory why it is two directories because we have desktop is not a directory actually school is a directory and adobe is a directory so that is it we have 21 i think here far here i have 21 i think and the storage the amount of bad the amount of bad it takes and the directrix two directories and the amount of bags of it being free so now we come here all you need to understand in looking through this at time we usually do this to understand what files we have and what time that file was actually place it to the computer maybe it is missing and you want to check quickly so you want to check in all of the file quickly using the time frame to know where that file is actually located so you can use this means actually you can use the cmd command to quickly run through all of the file and you understand it quite short and enough and you understand all of the property of the identical file so guys thank you very much thanks for watching this short youtube video hope you guys understand something from it